What's up, you guys? What's up? So this is like the day before Valentine's Day. I don't even know when I'm going to get this video out. But, you guys, I'm about to go get my nails done. But first I want to know, whose glasses is these? What the old saying is, you snooze, you lose. Or something like that. Yeah. Is it one for, if somebody leaves something at your house, you get to keep it? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to keep everything that somebody leaves here. But if it's like something cool, is it like a saying where you get to, like, if they leave it at your house, you get to keep it? Yes. These is kind of cute, though. Hmm. Hello. But anyway, so I'm going to go get my nails done. And it's the day before Valentine's Day. And I'm not going to get them because of Valentine's Day. I'm just going to get them because they've grown out. I think I got them done, like, two weeks ago. Two, like, two, three weeks ago. But first of all, the lady who did them, she didn't even paint the polish all the way up to the cuticle. Okay, she left it looking like it had just grown out. Like, is that your way of getting people to come the hell back? Because if so, it's not fair. First, I'm going to go to Dunkin' Donuts. I had to choose a new Dunkin' Donuts, you guys. I had, You know I love Dunkin' Donuts, but I had to stop going to the same one I went to because, for one, all the good people quit. All right, and for two, they started making my coffee really, really nasty. And um, I don't drink hot coffee. I just drink iced coffee or cold brew, whatever. But it started tasting really nasty. And if I get coffee that's dark roast and one cream, that means that it's going to be dark. Okay, but it has flavor, but it's still dark. It's always supposed to be dark. It's come to me many, out of 100 times, it's come to me at least like 90 times the color is supposed to come. But um, and lately it's been coming like the color of my skin complexion. That's totally off and not acceptable. So I gotta go to a different Dunkin' Donuts, which is around the corner. It's like around the corner and down the block. It's just by the car wash. But then I'm gonna go to the nail salon and hopefully they're not crowded because it's Saturday. And this one that I go to, not a lot of people go there. They go to the one across the street, like it's literally across the street in the next plaza. First of all, they're double the price. Second of all, they're double the price and for the same exact thing. And their work is not all that. Like, their work is nice. Like, I got my nails done there prior, but ain't nobody about to pay $70 for a full set when it's $35. Yeah. Or to get them repainted. But anyway, I got me some new nail polish, you guys. Some new gel polish from Nail Addict. So, I got five of these. Five of these beautiful colors. Okay. And I'll link their website below for you guys. But these are so nice. Look at this color. Isn't this beautiful? And then they have the color on the caps. This is so pretty. This is electric yellow. So they run $19.95 per bottle. I'm taking my own polish there today. Girl, let me tell y'all. I had to take aspirin this morning. Well, I didn't take it yet, but I said I have to. My tooth is killing me. And only because tooth back here is a temporary. Yep. I got my teeth done again. I got a new tooth coming. Like, I got a new tooth coming. I mean, like, it is really coming. Like, there's literally, you got to wait two weeks. So, I got a new tooth because first they told me they could put a filling in it because it broke. And listen, let me tell y'all, I only got two of my own teeth left on the top. The rest of them is all crowns. But they told me they could fill it, and I had an appointment to go get it filled, you know what I'm saying, because it's where I always go. And so, like, two days before I was going, I was chewing some gum. You know how you chew gum? Like, not no cheap gum. Well, gum is cheap anyway, but, you know, not like kitty, not like children's gum. Not like Bubblicious, like Wrigley's, like the adult gum. You know how you chew that? And sometimes you could taste the grains of the sugar in the gum. Well, I thought that's what I was tasting, but and then I was like, nah, that's a lot of damn sugar. That's big chunks of sugar. Why was it my tooth breaking off? So when I went back, they told me that they can still fill it, but the filling won't last. So I could either get a crown or get a filling. Now, the filling would have cost me 100 like 150 Yeah, it was 150 For the crown, 942 I'm not going to pay 150 for something that's not going to last that long and then make my tooth worse. So, yeah. And because they shaved my tooth down and then they put the temporary one over it, girl, my tooth, ever since it's been done, it's been killing me, like, hurting all in my mouth and everything. My whole mouth has been hurting. My ears have been hurting. So I've been having to take aspirin. 
And today is the first day being alone for two months. My mom was here for a full two months, you guys. Amazing. I had an amazing time with her. Of course, I didn't put her on camera because that's not what she was here for. We just had a really good time together. And I was happy about that. And then I was so sad that she left. Her and her new little dog, you know, that I got her for Christmas. Where we going? Some donkey donuts. Some donkey donuts, right? We come back home. Yeah, we're going to get a donut and some iced coffee. Well, I'm not getting a donut. Tinky's getting a donut. Right? You getting a donut? Yeah. I'm not doing First of all, it's my outfit for the day, okay? It's not, a sh it's not a pajama shirt. It's a shirt. Rocco's Modern Life, Nickelodeon, one of my favorite cartoons. And I got on some tie-dye joggers and some purple crops. Come find me in the night We both know when it's right Babe, I can ease your mind But I want it my I crowded. I hope they're not because I don't, I'm not gonna stay if they're not. I don't like sitting and waiting. This might be right Either you feel it or you don't Might give it a try, yeah Our bodies collide Baby, you're everything I want Let's give it some time, yeah Somebody told me I should hit and run But they don't know, they don't know they I always notice this is me This is just for me But what I notice is like the guys the, the guy male technicians, they always 
for me, I don't know about everybody else, but the guys that I've gotten my nails done by, they always seem to do better than the females. Because the last time I was here, the lady did my nails. And, you know, they were black. But the matte part of them, like, there was, some of them was black with, um, you know, glossy with glitter. And then, like, every other one was matte black. But the matte ones, like, once I went outside, like, and I really looked at them, like, you didn't really have to really look at them that hard, but I noticed, like, her strokes was off, like, it wasn't, like, a smooth finish, like, how his is. But I just know that every time I get my nails done, whenever it, when I do, and it's by a guy, it always comes out, like, better than the females. And I was saying that to him in the end. He gave me, like, this story about how the guy, the men end up being, like, nail technicians from Viet from Vietnam. Like, because they're Vietnamese. He's like, you know, the women, they buy the shop. And then they ask the men, their husbands, to come to the shop and help them because it's overwhelming. Like, they can stand at the door. They can welcome customers. They can answer the phones. So this is what the guys start out doing, he said. This is how they start out doing. And then over time, they, they just start watching their wives. And that's how they get the hang of doing nails. And so he was, like, telling me, like, for 20 years, um, for the past 20 years now, you know, the Vietnamese men have been working with their women, but before that it was just all strictly women. And the way, the way they came about working with them is just from, you know, just helping them out, like, you know, answering the phones, greeting customers, just doing particular things. And then they never end up leaving the shop, they say, and they just start learning as they are there. He did a really nice job with this polish. I do like the outcome of it. The red is really, really pretty. You know what I'm saying? And the pink is too. And, um, yeah, he just said that it's really thicker than most nail pol gel polishes. Got to know how to work with this one. If you don't, if you don't know how, he's like, you're you going to have a problem. But then, you know, he asked me how much were the bottles. And they are nineteen ninety five. Like I told him, he was, you know, he was like, that's a little bit pricey for gel polish. And he also did say that even though it's thicker, it seems like the quality is better than a lot of the other ones that are thinner. And now I look at it, I'm like, damn, maybe I should just put them all red because... The color is just so pretty, and I've never had red nails before. Never had red nails ever, ever. I don't, you know, I don't even wear red lipstick, you guys. It's not for Valentine's Day. It's just because, listen, I'm single, but not ready to mingle, honey. I just, I like being single. Trust me when I tell you, like, it's beautiful to have a relationship with somebody, especially if you're on good terms. Trust me when I tell you, um, everybody needs love, and everybody, I'm pretty sure everybody wants companionship to be with somebody that they love or, and loves them in return. However, you don't want to feel like you're the one giving the most and then stressed out. And for me, you know what I'm saying? I loved being in a relationship. I did. I really did. But I'm not about to sacrifice my soul for a relationship, you know? And, and then there's times when I love being single because, you know what I'm saying? I, I focus on me more. I focus on what needs to be done more and that's that's that nothing wrong with being single and a girl like me ain't trying to be stressed because you be kicked out kicked to the curb real quick so nail addicts you know i like their packaging and i do like the way the polish turns out i mean it came out good i'm gonna take my ass home now i'm gonna go edit a video um i, I was gonna do videos today but tomorrow i'm gonna do i'm gonna do a couple videos tomorrow it's Sunday tomorrow. It's Valentine's Day. They ain't got nothing to do with me. Not my money flow. So, you know, hey. It's not that I don't care. So I got to go back and get my nails done today. Because the same night, and I'm not flipping you guys off. I'm going to just do it like this. Bro. Okay, like literally, I didn't do anything. I was washing the dishes and I felt the crack and it broke. So, I was gonna go yesterday. Well, I wasn't gonna go yesterday. It was Valentine's Day yesterday. I didn't even care at that point about um, the actual nail. I really didn't, you know. It was Valentine's Day. We had an amazing day. Me and my daughters, we went out for dinner and everything. So we had a really good day. So that's the time. Thing. So I'm gonna go get a fix today, and I'm probably gonna just tap him, just to make them all red. I don't really like it like this now for some reason. But I'm in the car wash, and I'm not stuck, but they stopped everybody. I guess because they have a long line. I guess because everybody wants to get their car washed the day after Valentine's Day because it rained last night. Um, are they gonna like? 
fuck you guys? I'm like literally sitting here. Okay, so now we're moving. No, we're not. So I decided to have them all red. They fixed the broken one and I just went with all red. The nail polish is really nice. It's very glossy. It is thicker than other gel polishes, but it does go on really nice. So I am impressed with the quality of it. Now I'm just getting ready for a video. I want to put on these other lashes that this young lady sent me. Her website is called Bella Galore. She sent me two pair of lashes, which are so pretty. These are the Bel Airs. These ones are the Bel Airs, but these are the boudoir ones. She sent me some of her lip gloss. First of all, the packaging is totally pretty. This is so pretty. I love the packaging on this. It made me like really, really like the lip gloss the most, and it had to do with the packaging. So Liquid Mad Dreams liquid lipstick. This is called Jolie. This color is real pretty. Also a sculpting brow pencil. So at the end it's a spoolie, and then the other end is the pencil. I'm gonna try to use this today. The last item she sent me was some magnetic lash glue liner. So it's an eyeliner and a glue, two in one. Wow. Wonder how that works. Interesting. This is actually the last entry for this nail attic video. Um, only because this is a week after I went back um a week ago and got them painted in red. It was the day before Valentine's Day. So yeah, today is a week, uh a week and a day. So I went and I got them redone, um, you know, painted in red and um with the nail attic nail polish. And then I had to go back like two days later because I had broke the middle finger on um, the right hand. So then when I went back, I just decided I wanted them all red. Instead of having like this finger pink, I just got them all red. Well, what I noticed, and this is within the week, the, the paint chipped off on the thumbnail. Okay, and so I've never had a gel polish ever um chip like that and then yesterday the opposite hand on the right finger so the thumbs are like kind of like destroyed or whatever but i'm not going to go tomorrow and get them redone because listen i'm gonna wait for them to grow out and then because i ain't about to be paying no more money to get them to paint it um <clears throat> that's the only issue that i had is that they chipped off and i haven't done really much of anything like vigorous or like so harsh that they would chip off like i just do the normal stuff that i've done with the other ones the other gel but that's what i had i had them both they're chipping at the sides and i'm not sure if it's the polish or the polisher like the nail tech but this happened like days and days ago um this wasn't even on a week when this happened this was i went and got them fixed on monday the day after valentine's day so like tuesday is when this happened and then this one just happened yesterday so i'm not really sure i don't know but that is my final update and review on nail attic nail polish uh gel polish so i will link everything down below i hope you guys enjoyed this sporadic video you know what i'm saying i'm sitting here editing the video right now with my headband wig on from divas wigs and yep this is the one I'm editing. So I thought I would end this video today, you guys, about my nails with this perfect little gentleman right here. So this is grandson number four, you guys. So he's four months. This is my son Jerron's son. And there goes the other one, too. Yes. So I am babysitting while he's at the dentist. And this is the third one of his. And his name, what's his name? Tell him what you name it. Tell him. Tell him. Say it's Jalen. AKA Wuzzle, right? It's Grandma's boy right here. Yes. And we're going to edit this this nail video that I was doing before you got here. Oh, yay. I love when he comes. He's so sweet. Oh, my God. You know it. He's such a little chunky thing. Four months. Looking like he about eight. He really looks like he should be walking somewhere. Look at you. Grandma's boy. Yes. Oh, that is Julian. And he looks identical to my son. He's my buddy right here. They all my buddies. So we're gonna just sit here and edit this video. Where you going? And he's out. What you doing? Okay. All right then. We will see what it do, nail attic. And you know, once I get them repainted, 
I'll let you guys know what I think about them, you know, but I'm definitely going to use the electric yellow. And probably like the glitter one, too. What's up? What's the matter? His... What? You Oh, it's too chilly out there to go outside. But I'm making you... Okay, I understand that. But I'm making you some tater tots right now. What did I do? He be having, look, he only two, and he be having attitude. Like, what is, like, you're not even supposed to know any of that. Like, I don't get it. Here he comes again. What's up? What are you going with? What's up? Hello? Okay. I, I'm going to go do my grandmother duty. Swing time. Yes, we're going to go sit outside in the backyard and swing on the swing. Even though I told him it was too chilly, it's really not. He's just not going out there by himself. But, you know, we're going to have some swing time, baby. So I love you guys.